what's up you guys welcome to my channel i wanted to do hopefully a quick video on how i curl my hair it's nothing revolutionary i feel like a lot of people curl their hair but i did get a few questions i hate saying that because i feel like that's something people make fun of like oh you got a lot of questions did you know it's cool so i wanted to make a video i initially wanted to do a shorts or a reels and i tried filming it three different times but i feel like i was talking so fast trying to get so much information in i only have 60 to 90 seconds in those videos and i just can't really fit everything in without either missing something or just rushing through things so i decided i'm going to make a youtube video instead for anybody that is interested i have naturally fine thin hair i do have some tapins in that i do myself i have like they're like single pieces not double sided so I have a few probably like four or so and then this is about three day hair usually by three day hair I have to wash it my hair is fine and thin and it just gets greasy fast and it's not a good look especially if it's short short hair is definitely more maintenance so I'll either wash it put it up if I'm being a little lazy or I will curl it if I want a little bit of volume or kind of like keep it for another day so today I'm going to show you guys how I curl it I have this curling wand right here this is from T3 it's the one with the interchangeable interchangeable barrel yeah i said that right and this is a one inch curling barrel i believe they discontinue this which i don't know why because i feel like it's such a great curling iron it comes with a one inch barrel a medium one and then like a larger one and you just interchange the barrels and you get kind of like three curling irons in one they still have the one without the clasp but i feel like i need the clasp so i don't know why they discontinued it for anybody asking what curling wand it is that's what it is but you can use any one inch curling barrel i feel like one inch works best for the look that I'm going for and I personally like to work in sections especially since my hair is so short in the back it can be very hard to curl so sectioning bleh, I guess the coffee so sectioning it off really helps so I start with the bottom section and I'll kind of go a little bit above the ears and pin the rest of that hair up get it out of the way and the way that i personally like to curl my hair is i curl away from my face so for this half of the face the curls are going away from my face and then for this half the curls are going away from my face so at about the midpoint is when i change the direction of the curling barrel so you have to make sure that you're positioning your curling barrel so that you're not curling inward well, so that it's positioned so that you're curling outward away from the face you can interchange the curl directions you get a little bit more texture to it Whereas if they're all in the same direction, it's going to be a lot less textured, I guess you can say. But for me, I don't know, it's just easier. So I just curl all in the same direction. And what I do, okay, this is not the best sectioning because there's not a lot of hair here to demonstrate for this first piece, but that's okay. So I'll grab a section of hair, hold your curling wand vertically, open the clasp, position it at the top, close the clasp, and then open the clasp ever so slightly as you twist so you do a twisting motion open the clasp as you twist and then let it go and close it again and i like to leave the end out like this is what gives it those loose tousled curls hold it for a few seconds and then i just personally pull it down make sure you open the clasp when you're pulling it down and then sometimes i'll kind of just like give it a twist and pull it down a little bit as it cools down so for the next section let me kind of show you guys once again grab a section of hair hold it vertically Open the clasp, position your wand at the top, close the clasp, and then as you twist it, open the clasp ever so slightly. So as you're twisting it, you open the clasp and then leave the end out. Just be sure to leave the end out because this is what's going to give you, like I said, those loose, super loose curls. And then hold it for a few seconds and pull it down, let it go, and again, as you're pulling it down, make sure you open the clasp so that you're not pulling on your own hair. You can't really see what I'm doing here in the back, so I just honestly just wing it whether or not the ends are out in the back here. I'm not really particular, but it is what it is. And then once I get kind of like to the halfway point, that's when I'll switch directions. So I'll grab a section of hair, and now I'm curling away from the face in this direction. But the process itself is still the same. I feel like I can do this without looking. I'm just so used to it. It's how I have personally always curled my hair. I feel like everybody has their own kind of technique, but for me, this is just what works. Okay, but now for the next section, I'm gonna part a little bit higher now, kind of like right here, just to kind of demonstrate before I do a time lapse once again. We open the clasp, position it at the top, close it, and then slightly open it as we twist, 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 close it, slightly open it as we twist, 
and then leave the end out. You can leave as much as you want. The more you leave, the loose the curl is going to be. Hold it for a few seconds, open the clasp, pull it down vertically, and that is how I curl my hair. For this last section here I'm gonna start here at the front and these front pieces I'm kind of particular about so I kind of curl them down and away from the face almost as if I had a roller in my hair I don't know if this makes sense but when you're doing the curling wand you want to position it like this and then do that whole open and twist motion and kind of hold it here at the top like this almost as if I have a roller in the hair because these front curls are what kind of frame the face and I want them to be, you know, like really nice and all that. But for the rest, I just do like the same vertical twist and curl situation. Now for the last piece here, same thing. It's like as if I have a hot roller in, curl it, and hold it kind of like this, instead of vertically down. I mean, you could do this, but I feel like this way you're really getting closer to the root. Hold it for a few seconds, open it, let it go, and then just let your curls cool down. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll pop back on here once they're all cooled down. Once the curls are all cooled down, you can go in either with your fingers. I personally do not like to use my fingers because by day three, I have like a cowlick back here and I feel like it doesn't really get to my scalp so the hair at my scalp just looks funky just using my fingers and it's not as separated as I want it to be. So I use a comb like this. The smaller the teeth for your comb, obviously the more it's going to brush out the curls. So I just kind of go through and gently brush it out. And then I'll kind of like go with my fingers and make sure I'm getting to the scalp so I don't have like that weird colic or anything. If you know what I'm talking about, then <laughs> let me know. This is the end result essentially. I can't really see the back right now so I can't tell if I need to um, brush it out more. But you get like these really nice, loose, tousled curls. You could add a texturized spray if you want to. I have this one from Verb. It's their volume dry texturizing spray. I'm almost all out actually. It kind of acts as like part dry shampoo almost part texturizing spray I like this better than like the spritz ones I just got the small one because I wanted to test it out and I do like it this doesn't make my hair feel too gritty or weird or anything but if you have like fine thin hair it's super soft so having some texture definitely helps or you can use hairspray whatever and yeah this is the end result this is how I curl my short fine thin hair if anybody that is interested Hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in future videos.